They're pointing in the cow skull. Like, <laughs> what the? No, no, no! I'm going back. I am going back. I am going back. What the heck? That looks like a guy from Food Rocks from Epcot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll be here all night, folks. Yeah, I want a good foot. <laughs> that was worth it. Come on, guys. That was worth it. And it's Tire Flat Station. Gateway to the Old West. And wow, we're actually a lot closer to the finish line than I thought we were. We already have two of the fiends. Actually, no, we don't. I forgot I don't technically have my history report yet. I basically do, though. Let's go back to Dino Era. Because I've got a plan. Hey, dude, you want some hay? I know you do. I don't think hay makes that sound. Sweet little hubcaps, he likes it. I'm telling you, that guy's a total herbivore. <laughs> yes, he is. And thank goodness. Actually, even if he was a carnivore, that wouldn't really affect Putt Putt now, would it? Now just step off the history report, thank you. Yay! Good dinosaur. Just pick it up before he steps back on it. You're gonna get points taken off it for it being crumpled, Pup Pup. Got it. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox and my calculator, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Again, I don't really don't think Mr. Firebird wants to close the time portal. He wants to seal it up with you in it, but he can't. Also, why isn't playing the time portal music in the old in dinosaur times? You are tuned to Castle Radio. <laughs> not that each and every afternoon, King Chariot hosts story time. All children from the kingdom are invited to attend. Let it be known that Merlin the Magician has recently invented a machine that will turn common stones into gold. This discovery not has made this play King through. Chariot most happy indeed. <laughs> Castle Radio learned yesterday that King Arthur is planning to visit King Chariot this fall. Ooh. He's bringing along with him a large round table. <laughs> I suspect there will be much eating and celebration. Yeah. In an unfortunate incident yesterday, twin dragons sneezed at the same time, causing flames to shoot six feet out their nostrils and into the air. Three <laughs> piles of chopped firewood burned instantly to the ground. <laughs> a flying unicorn was sighted over the castle last night. I don't think so. It's second sighting to be reported in the kingdom this month. Really? You are tuned to cut. All right. Well, I like the lady's accent. That's very nice. Hey, it looks like you could use a little help. I'm carrying all this wood for the blacksmith. Yes, we, we know that. That's a big pile for such a small cart. It is, isn't it? I'm the strongest kid in the kingdom, you know. But oh, I can Dane. pick up a fully grown unicorn. If there was such a thing. Sure, you could. <laughs> Ice cream. This should help open that rusty gate. Yep. Hey, uh, Crow, you might want to go out of the way. Love that sound effect. You already oiled that part. And then one drop is all it takes on the top, apparently. Like that fanfare. Use putt putt. Now we won't be late for story time. And we all know what a dreadful sorrow that would be. <laughs> oh boy, minstrel, play me a song. Happy bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. No, that's a shame. I could have been a pianist, but that wouldn't fit on my back. I had no talent for the trumpet, but for the lute, I have a knack. Did they have the piano in medieval times? I feel like that was more of a Baroque invention. 
the drums I found too noisy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the piano did not exist back in medieval times because they had the harpsichord. Just plain eerie and the harp too made of gold. I like that, dude. That was really nicely done. It's Dumbledore! Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. <laughs> How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. <laughs> Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers... You must be looking for something. Yeah, you've I using sure my calculator am. for your machine. Oh, hey, my friend. I believe you will find everything you are looking for. Yep. I hope you're right. Dude, that's mine. Give it back. Hey, that's my calculator. I need to take it back to the future with me. Ah, how I would so like to give it to you. However, I have one small problem. My battery has stopped working, and this powers my gold machine so You're easy. sucking my calculator's well, battery I out! I found you a new battery, Merlin! A cosmically creative idea, young Putt-Putt. Can you find one for me in your travels? Yeah. How big do you want it to be? Dang. The battery must have seven volts of power. Seven volts, alright. I can do that. I can do that. I'll have to go to the future, but I can do that. Okay, it's definitely story time. He's reading a joke book. <laughs> Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun! I wonder what medieval jokes would now, be like. Which one shall I read first? I want to hear one. Oh, let's see. What button do you always carry wherever you go? Your belly button! <laughs> <laughs> when can thou knock over a full glass and not spill a drop of water? I give up. When it is filled with milk! <laughs> Wait, I, I did not. We shall begin as soon as I find an approach. I'm gonna have to look at that again in editing because I didn't Why get that did the one. Why did put roller skates on her rocking chair? I give up. So she could rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new world joke, believe it. What dost thou get when thou crosses a flea with a rabbit? I have no idea. Thou gets. Bug Bunny! <laughs> How do they know who Bugs Bunny is? Why did the court jester tell jokes to his stomach? Why did he, King Chariot? He wanted to hear a belly laugh! <laughs> <laughs> I love how the king is just reading a joke book filled with modern day jokes to his subjects and they're all cracking up. Why did the princess put two banana peels on her feet she when wanted she slippers. went to the ball? Why? Because she wanted to wear a pair of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cow wearing a golden crown? What? What? A Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, what's that? Oh, uh, what, what do you see? When you go to the future, there's a fast food joint called Dairy Queen. They make great ice cream, by the way, but Ooh, their hot dogs are questionable one. at best. What? Black and white and red on the bottom. I give up. A zebra with a diaper rash. <laughs> <laughs> How can thou know if a dragon has slept in thine bed? How, father? Because the sheets are burnt to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here's one. The princess was out riding one fine day on her royal steed, and on the road they passed a dog. Good morning, said the dog. I did not know that dogs could talk, exclaimed the princess. Nor did I, replied her horse. <laughs> what? That's so weird. What has 20 teeth but cannot chew a thing? What is it, father? A comb? Why, it's a comb, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what? Falls in the winter but never gets hurt. I have no idea. It is the snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What happened to the cat who swallowed a ball of yarn? She had a stomach ache? No, she had mittens. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What has 100 legs but cannot walk? I give up. 50 pairs of pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> These jokes are so dumb, oh, but at the same time, they're, they're funny. Yes. Look, I've found a unicorn, said the fairy princess to the king. Oh, said the king, you must take him to the royal zoo. <laughs> what a splendid idea, said the princess. The next day, the king saw the princess again, and still she had her unicorn. I thought I told you to take that beast to the royal zoo, he said. I did, replied the princess, and today I shall take him to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> what is as big as an elephant but weighs nothing? What is an elephant sized hole? An elephant's shadow. <laughs> Actually, the elephant shadow is not quite as big as the elephant because it doesn't have volume since it's two dimensional. What should thou do if thou wakest up to the sound of a squeaking mouse? Call the royal mouse catcher? No. Oil it. <laughs> Wow! What bow cannot be tied? How many of these are there? A rainbow. A rainbow. <laughs> wow. What did the mother broom say to the baby broom? I don't know. She said, "It is time to go to sweep." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what coat could not keep the queen warm? An invisible one? No. A coat of paint. <laughs> this is like the worst Let's we Play ever, rabbit, isn't it? <laughs> that steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Who is it? Rabbit Hood. <laughs> when is a piece of wood... Seriously, how rabbit many of these are there? When, King Chariot? When it is a ruler. <laughs> Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, Why, nine. King Chariot? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Dark, that's a little disturbing. What has a trunk but does not need a key? What? An elephant. What is it? It is a tree. <laughs> Mine was correct too, dude. What starts with a T, ends with a T, and is filled with T? We have no idea. It is a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What did the Cinderella fish wear to the ball? A ball gown? No, she wore glass flippers. <laughs> <laughs> what dost thou get when thou crosses a cocker spaniel? A poodle. How many of there are there? We give up. A cockapoodle do. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we not allow lemons to play in the royal orchestra? Because you guys are no stereotyping. Idea, because lemons would play too many sour notes. <laughs> Oh, uh, there are fewer he only he a dragon with a peanut butter sandwich. What? what? A dragon that sticks to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Boo! What happens if thou crosses an onion with a potato? A crying no, spud. The potato begins to cry. Wow, I was closer than I thought. If two are company and three's a crowd, tell me. What are four and five? I have no idea. Numbers. Four and five are nine. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the royal chef fired? Because he fixed terrible food? Yes. No, <laughs> it was because he was mean. He beat the eggs and he whipped the cream. <laughs> <laughs> what did the dirt say to the rain? What, Father, what? It said... Please stop raining on me, or my name will be Mud. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Where does a king keep his army? Where, King Chariot? Up his sleevey. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Queen. Queen who? Queen up your supper dishes, or you shan't have dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of good. Dragon sitting on the marshmallow. I have no idea. So he would not fall into the hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
That doesn't that didn't even make sense. Why does the king wear gold suspenders? We don't know. Why? To keep his royal pants up. <laughs> this, this, this is just dumb. Why did the court jester throw the butter out the window? He wanted to see Why, butterfly. Father? He wanted to see the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> What dost thou get when thou crosses a loaf of bread with a dragon? Or give up! <laughs> you get toast! <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good! <laughs> oh, here is a good one. <laughs> it was dinner time at the castle, and the queen said to the king, Dear, it is your turn to fix dinner tonight. The king replied, What happened? Did it break? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What can thou put in a barrel filled with water to make it lighter? A bucket. What, King Chariot? What? Why, a hole, of course. <laughs> but that's not possible to put a hole in. What is it that is always in front of you, but you cannot see? I don't have the slightest Air. idea. Tis the future. <laughs> well, you know what? I actually can see the future because I'm time traveling. Now, who writes nursery rhymes and squeezes oranges? I don't know. Mother Juice! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously! I must have heard like a hundred jokes! How Why many are there? Thou never share a secret with a clock. Why not, King Chariot? Because time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> the young girl asked her brother, How do you catch a fairy? And he replied, Catch it by a fairy by tale. Her fairy tale, of course. I heard that one, and Papa joins the parade, and apparently they hated it as much How as do I you did. stop a skunk from smelling? I don't know. Plug its nose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call the dirty prince who crossed the road twice? I give up. Roadkill? A dirty double crosser. <laughs> <laughs> What dost thou get when thou sets two rabbits out in the blazing sun all day? What? Baby what? rabbits! Hot cross bunnies! <laughs> now let me see if thou can guess this one. What cries when I cry, laughs when I laugh. But when I turn around, it neither laughs nor cries. A mirror! Oh, chariot, we cannot get Alright, with my reflection. It is a mirror! <laughs> yeah, I, w I was right. On which side does a chicken have the most feathers? The outside. I don't know. On the outside! <laughs> does anyone know the difference between dragons and fleas? Not me. Oh, it's quite simple. Dragons can have fleas, but fleas can't have dragons. <laughs> wow. Why do bats fly at night? Because they're nocturnal, up. dude. Why? Because they are afraid to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the That's court so jester stupid. throw the glass of water out the window? I give up. He wanted to see a waterfall. Man, apparently the court jester is the whole like at the star of many bad Why jokes. Why did the court jester tell jokes to his stomach? Why did he, King Chariot? He wanted to hear a belly laugh. <laughs> okay, I think I've heard that one before. I'm getting Tell out of here. Another so. King Chariot. Why did the court jester throw the butter out the window? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's like 50% of the video thus far. It's just me listening to all the bad jokes told by King Chariot. <laughs> this is gonna be a great let's play. Hooray! <laughs> oh, another mini game. Wow. This looks like some sort of game. Oh yeah, love this music. Let's play with these balloons. It's a balloon arama. We could shoot those crows away with them. Just show me where to let go of each balloon. If you want to quit the game, just click on the arrow. What's wrong with crows? Oh, wait, that Are game's way sure lamer than I remember. Need? I'm sorry. Oh, let's go into the blacksmith shop. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir pound -a lot my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Uh, so is he gonna give me free stuff? 
He's got a dragon in here! Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hey. totally want a pet dragon. I do hope you find what you're looking for, traveler. Thanks. Me too. Yep. Woodward Some... sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. That's free logs! Woodward, such a helpful little fellow. Except he always gets trapped in that pit outside. I've been working on my Scottish accent. I can do an Irish accent pretty well. But Scottish? That's a different story. Alright. Well. We need to go to the future. We finally are in the future. This must be the future! Yeah! I wonder what year it is! The year is 20XX. I'm Virgil Clyde! Oh boy. I am King Tarion. And he's not reading a joke book. Well, howdy, young'un. Hello, Putt. Oh boy. Pajama Sam. That's gonna be my next Humongous Entertainment Let's Play. Yeah, you'll see him again in a later Let's Play. Topic Nathan. Ah, uh, yes. This is my favorite. Yep, we are going to get. Ah, uh, that's Spy Fox. And that's one of my favorite games. We will be playing it Here later. Goes. Moving conveyor belts for cars that are too lazy to drive. <gasps> yeah! Alright, if we go in here, we can actually change our color, and this is the most advanced ch color changer in the uh, Puppet well, universe. Would you look at that? But first, I want a battery. Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. What kind of machine is this? First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, why that's a battery making machine. I could use a battery for my friend Merlin. I need one with seven volts of power. One battery coming up. You fill it up yourself. Just punch in the number that of That seems like lazy on your part. Plus its heart will do the rest. All you gotta do is make sure it all adds up to your seven volts. So in other words, you okay, need to do basic addition. Oh. Alright, so we need seven volts. Eat. One plus six. I'll start with one volt. And now six. Bam. One plus six equals seven volts. That's it! Seven volts of power. Boom. And now I can bring the battery back to Merlin. Yes, you can. Here, have a look see, Putt Putt. One custom made battery. Bam. Thank you. But I don't know if I can afford it. Well, isn't that the cutest? Don't you worry about a thing. There's no such thing as money in the future. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think that's how the future is going to go, future. but... I've got an uh, old five cents, which probably, if you adjust for inflation, is worth more. I am waiting for him to get red overalls. See me up, fatty. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, well, that made my day. 
<laughs> that made my day. <laughs> Beam me up, fatty. All right. Yeah, this is the most advanced painting machine in the Puppet universe because you can choose the color and the shade, so you can be like dark blue, light blue. So that's dark blue. So let's make us light blue. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting. It's kind of like the blue shade from Papa uh, Goes to the Moon. It has. I look good. Reused sound effect. <laughs> Thank you. It's the Walmart guy. Thank you. I will. And what the heck? There's a chicken with a hat over there. Well, would you look at that? I wonder how long I've been doing this, cause I I feel like I was listening to the King's jokes for like a half hour. Oh, this is gonna be a long episode, isn't it? In that case, I'm not gonna show off everything in the future since I'm coming back in a later episode. Hey. It's my lunchbox! Yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. <laughs> and I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. Dang, Smokey is really mine. popular, apparently. I have a of Smokey the fire engine on it. I cannot give it to you. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. Well, Dane, I've got an old bowl. food container? Then could I trade it for my lunchbox? That's not yes, how a museum works. Great. <laughs> I think I have something you're really going to like in my glove box. <laughs> it's five cents. <laughs> Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got Wonderful. it from way, way back in the dinosaur age. <laughs> and I just realized this guy sounds like Marvin the Martian. Ages, you say? How amazing. This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Never Here. mind the dinosaur bones. And the pictures Take of the, the dinosaurs on the wall. Dang, I was able to I pawn my lunchbox my off of a museum back. curator. Now all I have to do is get my calculator, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Yep. And then we all know we want to help out Mr. Firebird more than anything. Yep. Alright. Merlin. We've got a battery for you. Here's the battery, Merlin. You are most kind, Pudgy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Okay, I was hoping I could finish this a bit earlier than I did, but yeah, that didn't happen. And here, my friend, is your calculator. Maybe I'll split this into multiple videos, maybe I won't. We'll see. Hot biggity, this is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep. Yeah, let's hope we didn't cause a giant time paradox. And yep, that pup that's Papa travels through time. At least one of four paths. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things. Oh darn it! <laughs> Congratulations, Putt-Putt! I knew you would! Now I can finally show you my new school supplies! Excellent, Putt-Putt! I the don't really care about that! The time portal for good. You couldn't have done that when Putt-Putt was in there? More disasters. disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever! Well, wow, well, cool! So Maybe you should do it permanently but next time! My calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry! Yikes, you're right, We're not Mr. gonna Firebird. see the end of Mr. I'll Firebird's you evil deeds. Later. Here's my history report! His worst is yet to come. Now let me tell you what I learned! 
Yep, that's Papa Travels for Time, and yes, we now know Papa is a little kid because he's going to school, and apparently that it's okay to read comics in class. Papa's in his comic book, that's kind of weird, and Freddy Fish as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and where this Let's Play is not over, I'm going to be playing for this game at least two, uh, three more times. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.